Dr. Pamela Ruig, Extension Mount Quality Veterinarian for the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Today we're starting a new series all about using on-farm culture to improve mastitis treatment. In today's segment, we're going to discuss how we make the decision of whether or not to start a culturing program. Mastitis is a bacterial infection of the udder of the cow but we never detect the moment that the infection actually occurs. What we call mastitis is actually the observation of the inflammation that results after the infection has been detected by the cow's own immune system. The symptoms we see either in the subclinical state, the increased somatic cell count, or in the clinical uh, form of the disease that's the subject of this video series, those symptoms are inflammation and that inflammation has a purpose of destroying bacteria. And so one of the reasons the use of on-farm culturing or making a selective treatment decision is so important is that in about 50% of the cases of clinical mastitis on many modern dairy farms, that immune response of the cow has been successful in eliminating the bacteria before we even detect the case. So on many farms, only about 50% of the mild and moderate cases of mastitis, the cases where the cow aren't sick, actually require antibiotics in order to cure that cow. It's also important to differentiate that different types of bacteria behave differently in the cow. Bacteria infect different parts of the udder, they require different treatments, and they have different rates of spontaneous cure. So while mastitis may present with very similar symptoms, making the decision about treatment can be very complicated unless we know what type of bacteria is actually causing the infection. To make sure that we use antibiotics appropriately, we want to make sure we give antibiotics only to cows who will benefit from their use. Now, of course, a cow that is visibly ill, off feed, down in milk, or or very, very ill, those cows require immediate therapy and the use of on-farm culture isn't appropriate for those cases. However, most cases don't occur like that. And when we're looking at the large majority of cases of mastitis where the cow's not sick, it's sometimes difficult to, to be able to determine if antibiotics are needed. While you need to be working closely with your local veterinarian to make your own treatment protocols that are specific for your farm, in general, on most farms, we can say that antibiotics are needed for most cases that are caused by gram-positive pathogens, most of the streptococci and the staphylococci. And in general, most of the mild and moderate cases of mastitis that are already culture negative when they're detected, or are mild cases caused by gram-negative bacteria, those cases generally won't benefit from the use of antibiotics. The difficulty is finding those cases, and on-farm culturing is one method that can be used to select the cases that will benefit. We call these general type of treatment selective treatment protocols. Now there's several advantages of using selective treatment protocols. One is more judicious and appropriate use of antibiotics. You also have a decreased risk of having antibiotic residues, and normally you'll have shorter milk withholdings. Um, all the while, while you use these protocols, will also be maintaining the well-being of the cow. For more information about treatment of mastitis, you may want to view our video series, Managing Mastitis. In that series, we discuss treatment of specific pathogens. Music